Hello Aquarius, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of February. Happy birthday Aquarius and I share the same sign as my son so here we go. Um, so there's going to be some dietary change in your life especially with moderation over here. Um, telling you to eat in moderation versus, um, everything that we've been eating during the holiday season. Um, some of you may be going into self-employment. Um, and Labyrinth here tells us to do some introspectiveness in looking deep into our souls. Dreamcatcher tells you to kind of keep a dream journal and write things down because some things may be um, maybe prophetic in your dreams as you go through them. Mortar and Pestle is about manifesting what we want. Um, just be careful on what ingredients that we throw into our Mortar and Pestle. And the Eye of Horus tells us about about using our third eye as it becomes more open. And this goes along with pretty much all these right here, along with Juniper, because Juniper talks about um, manifestation and wishing on stars and things like that. Um, but we also have the Mirror Guardian here taking time to reflect, which goes with the Labyrinth and Trust your talents in changing times. Grow within your current situation. Be graceful in movement and action with Shaolin, Ma Ma Shaolin Master. And the Lord and Lady, take charge with authority. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. And treasure your loved ones. Do something uh, for someone. And there's always going to be a magical gateway for us. And slow down if you are overworking yourself. Because life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through, through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And knowing what we as an Aquarius group have went through for the past year, it better be some good blessing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and moving on to the tarot. So I'm going to be using the crystal tarot and doing a Celtic cross and then go from there. I've already pre shuffled, so. Let's go ahead and start pulling. Lots of communication. Lots of fiery communication. Oh, that's a lot of communication. Just make sure that you make the right decision as you go through the two of wands. Um, possibly in the work front, there's going to be some sort of a success because somebody is watching, um, watching you and potentially going to make an offer. Um, could be a promotion, a raise, a additional responsibility that leads to those types of things. And you have a King of Swords coming in towards you. Although you're not really looking at things coming in, it is something that you've been manifesting though. So you manifested this King of Swords to come into your life. And you have a King of Cups in 
a position so somebody else may also be making an offer. You asked for one, you get three. Because you're no longer going to be out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. You are entering into a Queen of Cups energy. Being more loving and kind and ready to receive whatever is coming towards you. Which is a Four of Wands. And somebody is coming back from the dead. Oh, okay. With judgment here. And temperance is... So... You went through the ringer. And now you are feeling more calm and collected. And your emotions are in balance. And you're financially feeling yourself and feeling very independent and somebody is coming with their cup of love and you're going to be the fool to go towards it because it's a balanced offer okay let's go with the mystical manga deck so why is the two of wands here? You could take any road that you want because you are financially abundant. You don't need to rush your decision. So you don't rush your decision, you decide to take things as it goes. And justice is here to balance things out. Bringing in their cup of love, which causes anxiety and fear of the unknown. But like I said earlier, you're tempering your emotions because you know what it's like to have gone through the ringer and it's probably taken this person a while to come around. So why is the nine of coin, knight of coins here? That's quite a stack. Three and the rest back. Yeah, you've been working on your career, which is ending a cycle of having to go through go through the toilet. And now that you are prosperous, you also need to have your guard up again. Because you have competition. So why is the King of Swords here? So this is a faded connection, especially with the King and Queen on top of each other. So the King's coming in, telling the truth, telling you they like you, and then you are like, yeah, back down, buddy. <laughs> I just redid Libra's reading, and yeah, so I would watch that if you want to see if this might be them, because Justice was here earlier. So this might be them. So why is the Four of Cups here? The Four of Cups is revealing um, 
hidden truths that you previously didn't see before. And, yeah, it's bringing in the king who broke your heart. And you're acting the fool to go towards them. So why is the magician here? You're manifesting somebody who walked away in the past, somebody who is from your past, because you're seeing things differently. You're tired of having a five of cups with everybody else. So are you calling in your soulmate? Is that what this is? So why is the king of cups here? Judgment is resurrecting this person as well, and yeah, so now you're feeling stuck between the two. So why is the five of coins here? The world is ending your five of coins, bringing in a queen of cups energy. So why is the queen of cups here? You're wanting your ten of pentacles. You're tired of being out in the cold. So you're using your strength to go towards it in order to celebrate um, your achievement. So why is the four of wands here? It's bringing in options. More options than you want. So you have two, you have a third coming now, a king of wands, who has watched you battle and win multiple times, and is watching you still. And they're making a decision to go towards you, which causes a tower moment. So. Any other advice for Aquarius for this read? Your burdens are ending. Your ships are coming in. From people from the past who walked away or you've walked away from. And they're now coming back again with um, the Knight of Cups. And this time, you don't have to have your guard up with them. Because they're ending this heartbreak thing here. But that's your reading, Aquarius. I hope you liked it, and happy birthday to all those Aquariuses who are having a birthday in January and February. And I will see you again next time. Laters.